It is time to create some Thiessen polygons. Currently, I'm on page 8, which comes out to page 16 in Lab 3. If you recall, I had a couple issues with my School Grounds LM. I'm going to remove those. And following the directions, put School Grounds LM 2 in the top position. That was one of the last steps from 719, or excuse me, from step 7, currently 719. I just moved that up a little bit. I forgot to do it in the last item. We're now going to create feeder regions for elementary schools in Pierce County. By feeder regions, I mean create areas around the schools that will lead to the, to grasp or grab where the students would come from. So students live within a certain distance of the school, they would go to that school. And this is a theory that students living inside the feeder region for a particular elementary school would attend that elementary school. We'll use these regions to produce maps of the regions in Pierce County that have access to school with high or low percentages of impervious surface, i.e. more or less natural land cover such as grass, trees, shrubbery, and two, excess, access to large or small schools, which is important to know given the number of schools in any one feeder region. And by that it is large or small surface of the schools, um, the school grounds. In this final major step, you'll calculate the regions that are most likely to feed the students to each elementary school. We're calling them feeder regions. To do this, we're going to do a new tool or a new process to create Thiessen polygons based on the locations of the school. The spatial relationships between the Thiessen polygons and points is such that any location inside one of the Inside one of the particular polygons is closer to the point than it is than that it is based on than to the point inside of any other polygon. Therefore, this means each decent polygon contains a single point, and the points in this step will be the locations of the schools. An elementary school student and parents would need to know, therefore, which polygon he or she lives inside in order to know which school is closest. Before we can create the feeder regions, we must first convert our school grounds LM2 polygon features into a point feature. And we need to do this because these some polygons are based on the location of a point. To convert a polygon feature to a point feature, we are going to use the Feature to Point tool, which is in Arc Toolbox, Data Management Tools, Features, and Feature to Point. And there it is. This tool will calculate a point from a polygon based on the polygon's center of gravity, which is approximately the point's center, or often called centroid. We're going to select School Grounds LM2 as our input. And we're going to use the Browse button to put it in our Feature Data Set and call it Pierce LM Points once it comes up. Pierce LM points. Click Save. We're going to leave inside unchecked. So leave it unchecked. And press. Oh, while we're here, make sure you're showing help. And this is the feature to point help. I'm going to go to the tool help, highlight this, and then paste that into the ArcGIS 10 help area because that is what's going to give us the best description of the tool. And I'm doing this off screen. You can't see it. So I'm going to pause while that's created and upload it to our class webpage. 
Now that I've created that PDF for you, I'm going to close it and press OK to complete the tool. I'm going to pause while this functions. And 16 seconds later, it's done. I press close, pierce LM points, I open the attribute table, and all the same attributes are there, although now it is a point feature. We still have the size, the urban, and impervious classifications. To create the feeder regions, we're going to have to open the Create Descends Polygons tool by clicking in our toolbox, Analysis Tools, Proximity, scroll up to Analysis Tools, Proximity, Create Descend Polygons. Again, here is a little bit of information. This is what we are trying to explain. Each decent polygon contains only a single point input feature. Any location within a decent polygon is closer to its associated point than to any other point input feature. I will pause as I click on Tool Help to create this decent polygon output. You should read through this on your own machine and also the extra help document called Creating Decent Polygons on the web page. I'm going to close this and we'll begin with our process. Pierce LM points goes in the top and then the output feature class Pierce LM feeders within our feature data set. Pierce LM feeders, save, and then we're going to select all because all attributes from the input features will be transferred to the output feature class. That's what we want. Before clicking OK, we must do one other thing. We must select the extent of the procedure or the extent for the output of the procedure. If we do not do this, then our feeder regions will not necessarily cover the entire extent of Pierce County. To select the extent, click in Environments at the bottom of the dialog. In the Environment Settings dialog, the Processing Extent drop down like so and choose same as layer base map same as layer pierce base map and then we'll click OK notice this, this is similar to the environment settings that we set at the beginning you may read about the extent here if you need some more information but for now you should be okay just reading this uh, press tool help if you need to to get some more information as well but back to this tool the reason we're doing this is explained in the lab documents you should definitely read it and note that if we set environment settings within a tool that takes preference over the environment settings that we set in the map so we have global environment settings and then we have tool environment settings. This is a tool environment setting, so this would take precedence even if we had selected something else in the processing extent. We did not, but it would if we had. From there I click OK, and then I should be able to press OK again so that the process can run. It is processing. I'm going to pause. And that took about 16 seconds. I'm going to close. And what the point that we need to look at here is the, the polygons extend beyond the area of Pierce County. And there's a reason for that. It's because the feature's extent is rectangular. So Pierce County is not just this area, as we can see underneath. It's not just this 
area, but it's also it's a square. So it's kind of a bounding box for this Pierce County area. But that's the way it happens to be. A feature's extent is rectangular. You calculate the polygons that span the entire extent of the Pierce base map extent rectangle. We're now going to use the clip tool to clip Pierce LM feeders, which I'm now clicked on, with the Pierce base map. And we're going to save the resulting feature class in the feature data set as Pierce LM feeders 2. That you know how to do. And then from there, you'll just remove Pierce LM feeders, this one, because you're going to be have Pierce LM feeders 2. And that is step 8 currently in the lab. You have now created decent polygons.